All right, welcome back everyone. Today is a bittersweet video titled, Half the Wheels, Twice the Fun. Back in 2015, I purchased my beloved BMW Z4. This is the coupe. It's one of about 2100 3.0 SIs produced for North America and about one of 800 manual transmission versions of the car. So it is quite rare and I do not at all regret buying it, but I do regret that I will soon be selling it. Um, things in my life have changed and I must shift around some assets to uh, accommodate my changed desire of living. And if you have seen my other video, I did also mention that I am selling my CB. The CRF stays, that's not going anywhere. But why am I saying twice or half the wheels, twice the fun? Well, I have had my motorcycle license for less than one year. I got it in August of last year and it's currently the first day of June. And I have put on probably five times the miles on my bikes than I have on my cars since I got my motorcycle license. So basically, if the weather is nice, why wouldn't I take one of my motorcycles, you know, instead of the car? Where if the weather is not so nice, I'll just not take a motorcycle and that's not going to be as fun in bad weather. So I'll just use my 5 Series. There goes an old American muscle car. It's a good day to drive. So for all of you car enthusiasts out there who are in any way against motorcycles or you think they're kind of dumb, well, I held that opinion, maybe not quite that extreme, but I held a similar opinion for many, many years. And that's why I bought this back in 2015. It's small, it's light, it's nimble, it's uncommon, if not very rare. And I thought, you know, this is gonna beat a bike because I don't have to worry about weather or other things. It's just an awesome car. And it gets, that thing gets like 35 miles per gallon if you're, if you're really nice to it. The best I ever got was um, from where I live here up to Duluth. And I got 41.2 miles per gallon, I believe. I think that was the best I got, 41.2 over that entire distance. So that's not just cheating it downhill for like a mile. No, that was a real 41.2. If I have the picture, I'll show it to you. That thing gets amazing mileage. But then I decided, you know what? I think I wanna get my motorcycle license. So I got that bike. And what an amazing bike that is. It is not an exciting bike in the way that like an Italian bike or a high revving four cylinder bike is exciting. It's an exciting bike because as a beginner, it is both very accommodating to you being a beginner, but it also lets you kind of, you know, excel um, because it's got enough power and enough performance to not bore you in the first, you know, few months of you learning how to ride. Then in January of this year, I got this bike and I've probably, I've already put on nearly 2000 miles on this since um, January, which is more than I've put on that bike. And I've had that since August. So it's pretty easy which one I'm gonna keep between the two. So this is my personal opinion. Other people may uh, not share this because, well, everyone has different experiences so everyone's gonna have some different viewpoints, but I think two wheels, way more fun than cars. They're cheaper, they're lighter, they're easier. They can take you way more places, looking at UCRF, and they will take you in, well, I guess, depending on your, uh, your body type or your tolerance to seating comfort, just as comfortably and quickly as a car, albeit, uh, with less luggage capacity. So this is kind of a send off to the Z4. I've had this thing for many, many miles and I do not want to sell it in any way, but to uh, go where I want to go and do what I want to do, something's got to go. And unfortunately that would be the Z4. By the way, this Z4's name is Jasmine. Jasmine. The reason why I chose that name is because I needed a name that was both elegant while being at the same time somewhat 
somewhat harsh or brash, and I thought Jasmine was a, a good fitting name for a car that uh, is both a little bit edgy as well as being quite, uh, being quite smooth and elegant. And it's also um, relatively quiet for a two-door sports car, it's, and it's very comfortable. Um, those seats, I got this thing from a suburb of Chicago, and I drove it back nonstop which was like, at, what, it was five or six hours, um, and uh, my butt did not feel sore once. It has amazing seats, even though they look kind of flat and boring, they're extremely comfortable. So I will stop rambling and again say, half the wheels, twice the fun. If you haven't, uh, haven't gotten into motorcycles, I highly recommend it. There's no better time than now. You're only getting older and you don't have to be young to enjoy motorcycles, but the older you get, the more difficult it'll become. By now, all supplies last. So, goodbye, Jasmine. It has been an amazing six or seven years. And for all of you watching, until next time, see ya. One more quick thought as I'm putting the machines away. To the next owner of Jasmine, you better respect and take care of this car as much as I have because there aren't enough of these things around to have them be destroyed, abused, or crashed. So please take care of it.